Okay, well, I've recently decided to uh, refurbish my old, must be 10 years ago, something like that, Space 1999 spacesuit that I'd made for a, a local convention. Um, and when I made it, didn't have a lot of time to make it, didn't have a lot of money to make it, so it had to be made sort of in a in a sort of near enough is hopefully good enough way uh, and I put some pictures here I don't have any video footage of it unfortunately um, just to show what uh, it looked like <clears throat> so recently uh, thanks to the podcast been on a bit of a Space 1999 kick and I thought there's another convention coming up so I thought I'd uh, try and remake it and try and it sounds awful but put a bit more effort in um, so what I thought I'd do was try and get the right material, try and make it in the correct way rather than just cutting corners. Um, and it's not perfect by a, a very, very long shot. Uh, but I thought I'd show you the different parts. Um, I have a, a few images from when I was making it because I didn't think it would come out. <coughs> Pardon me, I got a bit of a cough. Uh, I didn't think it would come out so I didn't bother cataloguing it. It was probably a mistake. There's a lot of interest been shown in it. So, I'll go through each bit in turn. Uh, this is the new jumpsuit, I suppose you'd call it. Um, and the Space 1999 spacesuit is just basically ripstop nylon. Um, and that's what this is made out of. So I went to my local haberdashery store and bought a few metres of uh, orange ripstop nylon. And I wanted to make it because the last one was so hot, unbelievably hot. I wanted to make this one a bit more comfortable to wear. So um, I've, I've got, I don't know if I've got any parts of the old one that I can show. No, I think I chucked them all away. Um, it was very thick padded material. Hold on, let me see if I got some. Yeah, so I actually did manage to get the bit out of the bin. Um, so as you can see, the original one was made from this material, which was too dark an orange. It's a sort of upholstery material. And the reason I bought it, A, it was cheap, a big uh, roll of it being cheap. It was, on the back, foam, which means that when you sew it, you don't have to put any batting on it. Um, and it's got a bit of texture. So that's what it was made of. It was really heavy, horrible to wear horrible to put on, not very mobile. So the new stuff is, as I said, ripstop nylon. And all I did was put thin batten on the parts that need to be sewn with ribbon uh, and then line that so it's fully lined. Um, so where, a few threads that I need to cut off it. So where it's ribbed, it's actually got some batten in. Where it's not ribbed, it's just thin nylon and then a cotton material. So really nice and comfy to wear. It's got all the, the zips inlaid and these are all working pockets. Because uh, one thing at conventions has got nowhere to put stuff. So I thought, make working pockets, put your keys and things in. There's pockets on the arms, there's pocket on the legs. Um, I did send off for a couple of, I did have some homemade badges, but I sent off a couple, they're iron on, it's not stuck very well, so I might have to go around and sew it on. Collar was just a piece of old trim. Um, and then the leg parts at the en end of the arms, I just put Velcro, which I'll show you what for later, and then same on the end of the legs. And then the bottom parts, which on the original were, I think, aluminium. This is just uh, uh, cosplay foam covered in duct tape. So I wanted to keep some parts from my original suit. Um, pretty much these and the, the wrist parts are the originals. So that's the, the main body. So pretty easy to do. Loads of zips everywhere. Um, it's just a basic boiler suit pattern. Um, that I amended. Uh, the wrists and glove pieces. So the wrist parts, I kept the top parts and these were made from Plasticard originally and I thought I'll keep them. They're a bit banged up but I quite like that. 
I made new, got some new gloves, and they're just gardening gloves, and they stick to a piece of a thick piece of foam, uh, and it's just got Velcro. You can see, just stuck through a hole. So they clip on, and that makes the gloves. But again, I think the gardening gloves are about two ninety nine. Nice and cheap. Um, the boots I've got come in, they're just yellow wellies, yellow Dunlop wellies. Seem to be the only people that seem to make yellow wellies anymore with Dunlop. Something's going on my phone. Um, the neck piece on my original, again I'll try and put a photo here or go back and look at the other photos. Uh, the neck piece was the old uh, breakaway, uh, the pilot episode uh, stunt neck pieces, so they were just. Uh, flat foam, not then corrugated, and I had trouble how to do this because you you just can't find that sort of rubber um, corrugated tube in any size anywhere. I tried everywhere, um, so I made made one out of foam. So it literally it's a little bit rough and ready, but it's made out of rings of foam glued together on the edges and at the back. To give that concertina effect and I think it looks pretty good certainly better than my last one I had to do about three or four of these to get it right and then it's just cosplay foam for the neck with some more cosplay foam stuck on for the knobs and stuff um, so that's the neck piece the helmet let's move that the helmet I made a new version of the helmet because my old one was just annoyed me a bit it was very clunky couldn't really do anything with it, it was hard to wear. So I made a new one and it's just a basic uh, helmet made out of foam. So I've got some patterns for just basic like knight's helmets and I amended them. Uh, this is all just a quarter inch uh, matting, you know, uh, foam matting for garages, which you'll see from the inside there. You see, it's that sort of matting that you kneel on. Um, the bubble was again something left over from the original helmet and that was one I got from uh, China. I had to send off for it. They, they still do the 1970s bubble helmets in China. Um, and then that's hinged so you can wear it. And again, just, just very simple, lightweight, easy to wear. I would like a, a proper helmet, a you know, fiberglass or a 3D printed one, but I haven't got the capabilities to do that at the moment. So this is perfectly good for doing it. Um, let's have a look now at the backpack. Okay, so the backpack is left over from the original, or totally refurbed. So it's just webbing straps, and then everything else is made out of cardboard and plastic card. So as you can see, it's just a cardboard box with duct tape on it. And this is cardboard and my faithful old plastic card HMV dividers. And it's just coated in it and it's nice and lightweight uh, and it uh, holds up quite well. Um, it did start to perish in the loft, I think some mice got at it uh, and uh, so I had to redo it all so it's totally been reclad. Um, uh, it's just all sort of printed stuff, fake gauge and I put uh, an air hose on it this time. So again nice and simple. Uh, let's just move these over there. So the Comlock and the Stun Gun are just the Century Castings kits that I've had for ages. A good solid resin. Same as the Stun Gun. This is a horrible one with a kill and stun setting. Uh, I've got a much nicer one, but I'm not going to wear it because I'll drop it immediately. Uh, and then just take out my uniforms. So the holster is just the one I made for my Kony uniform. So it's just. Uh, uh, like a fake pleather, made out the same material as the Moonbase uniform belt. Um, and my other Moonbase uniform, I've redone really that with a proper, <coughs> proper grey instead of black. So I can, if it does get too warm in the spacesuit, I can uh, redress as Koenig from on the base. Um, so yeah, so that that's sort of the the way I put it together. So it's, it's pretty simple, but I think it looks um, okay. I'm quite pleased with it. I'm, I'm not usually that proud of my cosplay costumes, but this one I think will go down well. It'll be interesting. I'll see whether I've got any footage in that, which I'll put up separately from the con. It's not for about three weeks, so 
I've got time to refine it. So yeah, I got the Dunlop Wellers come in this week. Um, they were out of stock, otherwise I would have had them by now. Um, so that will be a good thing to see. And I think that should finish it off. And I, you know, all together, as it shows here, I think it's uh, it's not bad. But yeah, just a quick overview. If you want any more details, let me know. If you want to see some of my other costumes, I've got quite a few, let me know on that as well. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you can. Um, uh, we have a Patreon page now, so if you want to help out that way. And uh, otherwise, thanks for watching. See you again next time. Bye.